Hola, good afternoon. This is Zane Falklin, and today we're going to go over the topics of the trading app by the name of Pinex, which uses AI bots to trade for you instead of you doing the work. So, before I get started here, I will also be adding an additional bit to the end of the video, which regards the types of cryptocurrencies in which I believe would be great assets to invest in. I'm trying to get it all in raw and as quick as possible as far as getting this information out for some investors out there because it's not going to be long until things start taking off. So proceeding forward, we have an Ether and Bitcoin trading and a Shiba USDT trading currently. These are paired together. So what I'm going to do is show you how to create a bot. And what the bot will do is depending on the value of the asset that you invest in, this one will not start until the value reaches quad 0, 1, 2, 5, which right now it's quad 0, 1, 1, 8, 4. So that will not start. We're going to get one started at an early, I mean, not an earlier, but a lower price range, I should say. So when you create a bot, you can do an AI version, which it will do all the grid, I mean, the settings for you or manual so what is a grid trading bot as you can see that chart below it's doing all the work for you so a grid trading bot is a trading program in which users can automatically buy low and sell high in a specific price range through the program in the volatile digital asset market especially with crypto fluctuating in its value every single day. The use of grid trading bots can avoid erroneous trading decisions caused by human factors to a greater extent. The grid trading bots will assist you in strictly implementing your own setting of low buy, high sell trading strategies. All right, so we're gonna go back here and get started on creating a Shiba and USDT trading bot. All right, so. I remember I had to do some adjustments with my balance of Shiba and USDT. So pardon me for one moment here. So if you're wanting to buy Shiba, you go to the buy section. And if you want to sell the Shiba, you go to the sell section. It shows I have 3 million there. And you can put in the percentage amount of how much you want to sell per coin. Go ahead, and here's the grid trading bots. We're going to do it manually because I've been watching these numbers for a couple of years now, and I'm most comfortable with the Shiba and Bitcoin and Ether and a couple other uh, cryptocurrencies. So we're going to set the lower limit to quad zero one one. Yeah, that seems fair. Okay. And then bouncing over to the upper limit, I'm going to put quad zero. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, 1195 should do. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right there. I had made an error, which the app itself had showed me in the end. For the upper limit, I had corrected it to be quad zero to something roughly, but for the upper limit, what I would had ended up happening is the app told me the price had reached that limit. And if I wanted to close the bot out and sell my assets, what I was trying to do is put that as a trigger price instead. And then I bumped the upper limit to quad zero to something roughly to fix that error that should be a good enough trigger price okay and then we're going to put 10 grids and 
this is where I have to do the math calculation with the balance of Shiba and USD. So that's not going to work because I need a tad bit more USDT. So I went ahead and made that correction. Okay. So this trigger price is when the actual bot will start the trading process. So however much that I invested, that will not start until the price reaches quad zero one one nine five. Now the upper limit, this is I want to set that a bit higher. So this is my prediction. I want to close the bot at quad zero two five. Once the price reaches that range, the bot will close and sell. But if the price falls lower than what I predicted to be, I'm going to put quad zero one zero five zero. That should do. Okay. So if it falls below that, the bot will automatically stop. I'm going to put five percent on the slippage control. All right, and there we go. So that was manually. You can do the AI version where it just goes through in one click of a button, or if you're comfortable to do it manually, you can go ahead and proceed like such. So I have quite a few of these little trading bots set up and ready to go and will not be active until they reach a particular price range. So at the time I did sit around for an hour or so. <laughs> Well, 20 minutes or so until the first bot started trading. So I, I did the honors to wait and voila. This is where the first bot started. Okay, so the moment it had reached, I, I had created another trading bot for, I believe, 1185. Yeah, around that range. And that had already started. So that should be a good enough system to show you how to create a bot. As you know, an hour or so passes by and what happens. So the time became 3.51 and this is a good hour or so later. So that triggered another one of my bots. I need to go back and look at that little message again. So, yeah, we got quite a few bots going here, and we're getting some bit of gains. And of course, the Ether Bitcoin one that has been around just a little longer than all of my Shiba ones. But there we go, folks. That is how you create a bot with Pinex. Error I had was right here. I'm gonna put this at two. Yeah, that'll work. And voila. There we go. Had to fix the upper limit range. Last but not least, I wanted to go over the, I believe it's six different cryptos that I would definitely invest in around this time of the year. First one would be Ether, followed by Shiba, XYO, Cosmos or Atom, Cardano or ADA, last but not least, Terra Luna Coin. So the reason why I say these particular coins is because of all the cryptocurrencies, Shiba, Atom, and Terra are the ones that have jumped the highest, but Ether and Cardano and Cosmos are the most structured as far as having a purpose behind them. You have to do all the research and whatnot. I don't have that much time. But other than that, folks, give it a look at and have a great day.